So in the previous two videos, we saw how we can use aircrackng to crack the password, uh, to crack the WPA key. Uh, the first method was using a word list straight through aircrackng, and the second method was after we convert the passwords to PMKs. However, in both methods, we were using our CPU to do the work. So in the first method, aircrackng was using the CPU to calculate the PMKs in the second video, uh, we calculated the, PK, the PMKs first and then we used aircrackng and aircrackng used the ready PMK database. But in both methods, uh, we were using the CPU to do all the computations. GPUs are usually quicker than CPUs, therefore if you have a strong powerful GPU, the cracking process can be much quicker if you use the GPU instead of the CPU. So we're going to talk about a tool called Hashcat, which allows us to crack the key using the GPU, not the CPU. Uh, I'm going to explain how to use the tool from Windows. Uh, you can use the tool from Linux. The only reason I'm going to explain how to use it from Windows because most devices it's easier to find a driver for your graphics card for Windows than uh, Linux. All uh, graphic cards are supported on Windows, whereas uh, you might have some trouble finding the driver for your graphics card for Linux. Therefore, I'm going to talk about how to use um, Hashcat from Windows. So, first of all, you're going to need to download two files. First one is Hashcat, the tool that actually does the cracking. And the second one is Hashcat GUI, which is the graphical user interface for Hashcat. After we do that, uh, we're going to need to convert the Handshake file to a HCCAP file so the handshake was captured in a cap file as we saw in the previous videos. We have to convert it to a HC cap file so that a Hashcat can read this file. So we can do that from their website, hashcat.net. Let's see how we do that. So hashcat.net. Um, it's cap to HC cap. And it's going to ask us to browse to download the file. So we'll do that uh, to upload the, ha uh, the handshake file. So we have it called test handshake. Here we go. Open. And then I'm going to add the um, ESS ID, which is called test AP. And I'm going to click convert. And it's now it's converted the file and it's allowed me to download HCCAP file that's ready to download. So I'm just going to click OK. And that's been downloaded. I'm just going to copy it to the desktop so it's easier to access it. OK. And now we're going to run Hashcat. Just double click it. The Hashcat GUI. Gonna click run and we're gonna navigate to OCL hashcat here. So, uh, first thing we're gonna choose our hash file, so that's the handshake file that we just downloaded the HC cap one, and that's it here. So, I'm just gonna open it, that's done. Now, we're gonna choose the encryption that we want to decrypt, and it's WPA WPA2. And the binary file, you're going to have to, uh, as I said, we're going to have to download two files. The first file here is the that's going to contain the binary, the actual program that does the decryption and uh, or the word list attack. And then the second one is just the GUI. So we're actually in the GUI right now. And we're going to, we have to specify the binary. So you just, you browse. And you go to whatever you extracted your binary and you click the binary file. So I'm going to use the 64 bit because I have a 64, uh, 64 bit computer. I'm going to click open and everything's ready now. So you choose your HC cap file, you choose the encryption, you put the binary, and then you can click on reverse engineer to get it to work. Actually, I should pick the 32 version and to click it 
and as you can see I get an error because I actually don't have a graphics card in this computer so I just made this video to let you know or to show you uh, how you can use HC how you can use Hashcat now if you have a graphics card and if the driver is installed it should work for you but for me I don't even have a graphics card so that's why it just it's complaining about OpenCL so that's it using the GPU should be much quicker than the CPU so if you have one if you have a powerful one then that's gonna help you a lot with the cracking process and it's gonna speed it up by a huge amount now we've talked about three different methods of cracking the WPA key now there's other methods there's a lot of methods to do that there's also online services that you can just upload your your um, handshake file and they have huge word list and they have hyper computers that will try to crack uh, your uh, password by running those huge word lists against your handshake file they're actually really good those services because their computers are very fast they're hyper computers and their word lists are huge so you can also try them if you if you're stuck if you couldn't find the key by your local machine or using your local word list